So I'm guessing that you showed up on this video because you wanna know how not to piss your customers off in your service-based business. Specifically, how not to piss them off with signage. I'm gonna share that with you in this video today. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi there, my name is Matt Ward and I help service-based business professionals get more word of mouth referrals in their service-based business. If you're new here, well welcome. Please subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss a single video that I put up on the channel. Now, today we're talking about how not to piss off your customers with signage. So many businesses I go to have these signs all around. They look like these pieces of paper and they're like just big letters on them. And so I recently went to a blueberry picking farm. Fresh blueberries, pick yourself. Signs everywhere. No credit card, cash only, no wet cash. It's a health hazard. It's a health hazard. So I'm wondering why business owners actually think it's appropriate to put five, 10, 15 different pieces of paper up with all kinds of signs. It's all the rules you can't break when you're doing business with them. What about all the rules they break doing business with you? When you make it difficult as a business owner to serve your customers, it leaves them with a poor impression when they leave. And that results in no word of mouth referrals. In years past, I've been to this blueberry farm numerous times. It's the reason I went back again this year. It's usually a great experience. But this year, for some reason, they had an inordinate amount of signage put up. I don't know if the ownership changed. I don't know if the management changed. I don't know if the overall employees changed, but something changed and they were pissed off that their customers were attempting to pay with credit card and were attempting to pay with wet cash. Last time I checked, there's no law against wet cash. Cash is cash. It's exchangeable for goods and services and it has to be accepted. I'm pretty sure legally, it's a legally binding thing. Anyway, the point is it left me with a bad taste in my mouth. And so I encourage you to not take blank copy paper in a Word doc and put big bold letters, do not do this, do not do that, do not do this, do not do that. It's gonna piss people off and it's gonna limit the amount of word of mouth referrals that you get in the future. In fact, it might even encourage people to leave negative reviews online about your business. Think about that when you think about making a sign next time. I hope that you subscribe and click the bell, ding, ding, so that you get notified of all new videos that go up on the channel every single week. And until next time, don't forget to live happy, smile a lot, and high five everyone around you.